Hello, and welcome to my full-length review of Legion. Now, this is going to be a, a double episode review because uh, I didn't get a chance to, to uh, watch uh, episode 5 on, on the following Wednesday, so I didn't have time to post this review. So I decided to do a two-for-one. I'll give you my quick uh, thoughts on episode 5, and I'll dive right into episode 6. Uh, one of the highlights, you know, Lenny uh, being officially confirmed as the devil of the allies. Uh, it was very creepy as they um, ended the episode with uh, basically uh, making that big reveal inside uh, David's uh, childhood home. That's probably one of my biggest highlights because that whole sequence and the whole scene gave up that whole haunted house slash horror vibe that uh, made the, the the last part of the episode very creepy. And that's for now, to go for earlier in the episode, I really like uh, the wake of destruction that David left behind at D3 as Melanie, Sydney, and Tommy discover what actually happened at, at D3 as David tries to rescue his sister. And and more and more as they get further and further, um, you got Carrie uh, putting the pieces together that um, the Devil of the Allies is some sort of parasite and an anomaly. Now, whether or not this is my my theory, it could be a variation of of the Shadow King or some entity in, in his mind. We don't know. That's one of the fun things I like about the show. Uh, we don't know exactly what we're going to get. We think we might get one thing, and we might get another. Now, they ended with episode five, basically uh, Lenny or slash Devil of the Allies, uh, basically put our heroes in back in Clockwork Mental Facility, or at least her own version of that facility where basically she runs the facility per se as head shrink and she treats all of them as mental patients <laughs> uh, in other words they're all fucked <laughs> so as we dive into episode 6 uh, it seems that David seems a lot more happy uh, in his own little dream world that uh, he gets to be with everybody, he gets to be with Sydney uh, it seems like this is one of his more happier moments and he kind of often tells Sydney that um, the real world doesn't even work for him. So this is more hinted than like um, the real world is tough. He prefers to be in dream world, to be in his own reality. Basically, <laughs> is what uh, he's basically trying to say. Um, as we get further in the episode, uh, Sydney is slowly trying to basically put the pieces together and struggle to remember, um, basically, what has happened in the last episode or the memories being altered. And and this is to go well to to Lenny because she f tries to basically keep them down and keep them um, happy for the sake until the point that they got to the point where it basically pisses her off and she frankly doesn't care anymore. <laughs> it's, uh, one of my biggest highlights with Ali Plaza is I think this was the episode that Ali Plaza shined. In this episode, we get to see her harassment. I really love the the whole dance number that she. <laughs> That she does is sort of like a victory dance. <laughs> it reminds me a lot of a uh, flash dance. Uh, basically, she <laughs> doing everything, jumping on the bed, doing her little dance number. <laughs> it was great. Uh, one of these that we also reveal in this episode, it seems like Oliver is somehow is trying to help our heroes um, regroup and try to um, avoid being detected by. Lenny, um, as first he picks up Carrie, and then Carrie tries to pick up, um, I believe it was Melanie, and put the pieces together as they try to reveal that it's all it's all a dream, it's all in David's head. <laughs> They're inside David's head. <laughs> uh, the biggest highlight for me in the end of the episode was the the whole conversation that uh, David had with Lenny. And the whole big reveal, Lenny's saying that, uh, you know, I've been with you since the womb. I've been together. You know, you and I are, are great together. Uh, we could challenge our power of God. I've been with you since uh, your dad abandoned you, which is a uh, nice little hint that we're teasing that, um, that his connection to Charles Xavier, Professor X. Uh, we still don't know if it's McAvoy or Patrick Stewart's kid, but <laughs> we'll find out eventually. Uh, it was great. Audrey Paula shined and basically you saw uh, David uh, being all weird out and trying to uh, specify what's going on. And she just said that 
I don't really need you, your mind. I just need your body. And basically she trusts him in and it totally freaks him out. But overall this was a fantastic episode. Top notch episode. And this is one of the highest and why I like the series so much. And I can't, certainly cannot wait what happens in the next episode in chapter 7. So, well, that concludes my review for episode 5 and 6. And I hope that um, you guys are tuning in and if, let me know what you think about the current run of the series. And always, thanks for watching. Bye.